Welcome to Cabmaster Software. Today we're going to go through the new features of version 8. The main thing you notice when you start up version 8 is the layout has changed. We now have introduced ribbon toolbars, so it looks a bit like the Microsoft layout. The main thing we've got is pellets. If you sit on top of any of these cabinets, it shows you what's actually in it and gives you a bit of a uh, small explanation about it. You can create your own pellets if you want to just display just floor cupboards or just uh, and create your own, you can add your own palette. You can edit a palette. All you need to do is click on here and say, I want to add in one of those cabinets. Uh, remove that one, and that will automatically update the palette and give you the cupboards that you want in there. So there's our floor three door. You can double click on here, and it will bring up the cabinet properties. Uh, one thing you may have noticed is, as I click on any of these cabinets, it highlights it on this new uh, cabinet picker on the side over here. This cabinet picker you can turn off and on. If you'd like it um, again you can single click on any of these cupboards through here and it will show you down the bottom what the cabinet actually is so if I double click here again it also brings up the cabinet properties what we can do here um, the main way one main thing we've done with the uh, when you open up the cabinet properties is we've gotten rid of all the tabs across the top uh, and the menus across the bottom this makes it much quicker when you're in a cabinet so I can jump down to the machining very quickly I can go view a part down here so I can go onto the so my end left I can view that part the other thing we can do is resize this window it makes it easy to see what's going on we click on any of these holes it tells us all the details of the holes down the bottom I can then very quickly jump back into say cabinet details go to options give me two shelves you see the shelf details update automatically uh, jump back to machining so it's very quick and easy to do things within uh, within within the cabinets now as well. Much quicker and easy to move around. Much more easy to flow through the thing. The other thing you can do is create your own buttons to make things easier for you for the buttons you use most commonly. There is another video that shows you how to create these buttons, so have a look for that one. So if I wanted to create a wall, I click on the wall, draw the wall very quickly. I can click on a cupboard, drop the cupboard down very quickly. I can click on the 3D button quite here, quite here. So now we're in 3D, we can very quickly move move around. Uh, we can see the wireframe, we can see the hidden, uh, back to textured, and quickly, quickly jump back to plan view in here. We can also program our own buttons. This is something, if you want to program your own buttons, give support a call, uh, we can show you how to actually do that. But I can now press this button, it actually outputs all my files and starts up easiness for nesting if I'm going to a CNC machine. You can even do things like, open outlook if I want to send or receive and it'll check my emails so there's a really nice features in there that we can do um, some of the new things we've got in drawing properties some of the features we've got and make it again make it bigger to make it easy to see we've now put all of our um, hardware onto one page to make it easy to work we've also got hard runner groups now for in the hardware so instead of just specifying um, one runner for, for each cabinet I can go into the metal standard as an example and I can specify in here, I want to use this runner here, an N runner up to 110, the M up to 140. So you can actually specify a runner for a size. So it will automatically specify the right runner if you adjust the drawer fronts of your drawers. You can also do the same thing for hinges now. You can specify a hinge pack or a hinge set. Uh, and you can specify in here, so this pack one, you can specify for a standard hinge, I want to use this hinge and this base plate. Or a corner hinge, bifold hinges, lift hinges. And you can create your own pack, so you can actually get a set up a pack for Bloom and, and Hayfley and things like that as well. So we've really standardized those things. The other thing we can do is pricing is all in one spot as well now. Pricing is much easier. There is also a lot of documentation on pricing if you want to set up your own pricing, but it's now all in one spot. So if I want to modify any of my uh, materials or hardware handles, labor, runners, they're all in here to modify the pricing. Um, settings another new feature we've added in for pricing is if I have a zero value in a table so if I'm pricing runners I set up price running uh, prices for my runners normally I've added a new runner but I haven't set up pricing for it I can set up in here and specify if I have a metal runner and there's no pricing services if zero price in table so if there's no pricing in a table I can make sure I charge 20, a minimum of $25 for that for a runner that has no price so I can't be left I can't miss out on something in and uh, not charge for it, it will charge a default value if there's not one already in the uh, in the tables. So there's also a fallback, so you can't get anything wrong in there. So there's quite a few um, you know, nice new features. Make, it is much quicker. Once you get the hang of Another new feature of version 8 is the ability to, produ to produce 3D PDF files. 
Now what we need to do just before we go to a 3D PDF is I want to just put a, uh, a floor, um, I'll throw a floor into here. There's not much in this drawing at the moment, uh, but it's nice to have some sort of floor in there. Makes it easy to see. Um, I've now got a button here for a export to a 3D PDF. I put that onto the desktop and I'll call that a sample one. Oop, I called it drawing. So what we can do now, we can go open up our drawing file. Uh, the main thing we need to do is change the background color to white and add some lights in. So we can try some lights like this. Now this is a PDF file you can send to your customers. They then have access to open, you know, open this up, move it around, they can move it around. The walls as normal in Cabmaster are hollow from the back. Uh, you can do your complete drawing and get a really nice image out of this. Uh, you can try some different lights, lighting styles and see which one actually suits you better or maybe no lights. Depending on the color of the, of the actual kitchen, uh, that you're doing so you can change the light styles as well. So that's a really nice feature as well to have in there So there's a lot of new features in version 8 we would recommend have a play with it if you've got any questions give support a call on 03 9040 2000. Thanks very much for your time